Hey, Charlie. Welcome to the studio. Rode a motorbike through India to do this drawing. You know, went to Egypt. Gonna play your track while we look at my big drawing. So people using Len Lies. Metal bits. This one's called Universe. I think it's real cool. Please remember that pyramids actually mean the fire within. Some lights. Didn't die in the Himalayas or indeed Egypt. I had a sacred journey. I'm an artist. The inward and the outward. We're drawn from the void. We trace our way through many layers of being and beings in this life. The edges are pretty rough sometimes and the threads that would attach the huru huru all part of it in fact it's part of the fabric of it and it does unravel. It's kind of beautiful. Kind of unravels a little bit like seaweed and the rocks and the ocean. I didn't intend to do a pyramid when I started. I was trying to do a mandala. Been doing ripped edges for years. Mostly paper. Thought I'd upsize it. Because you said that you're allowed three metre square. I've always been into what all the ancient cultures were doing with these structures. But really, I'm calling this in or out. Calling it in 
end out after the breath from the Vedic scriptures or being alive this world, the other world, this world, the other world but the work goes in and out as a op you're floating above a pyramid and the capstone's gone or you're going through a tunnel this is part of a series this is probably the fourth one not all this size three are this size one is smaller A lot of incidental play of n uh, not entirely contrived narrative. The gold is where the glue that I stuck it down with this EVA. I use EVA to cross molecular white glue. It's bloody good. So I dip the cotton in it with, with a little bit of Indian ink in this case and it bled I did a hell of a lot of stitching I had a pretty obsessive day of stitching I did about 13 hours in a row one day drawing hot poker marks some of the fabric in this were from a destroyed village on the coast after that big uh, tsunami that happened was it 2004? anyway the massive boxing day tsunami it was a village 500 people got taken out to sea and I stayed there for a while because it was quite there yeah, wasn't a lot going on it's a bit munted very munted but some of the fabric came from a homestay I stayed at and it was like some calico or just like a sheet calico set they had and I had no canvas so I kind of Figured that I'd. So you saw that's in here. I always remembered that place. Um, yeah, had a great time doing this. Happened uh, relatively quickly. Although, like I say, I did a trip through India to do it. And I actually went to the pyramids and went all up the Nile on a boat and had to deal with Egyptians. Uh, I used the gold leaf and the glue that seeped out the edges um, like you would blot uh, blood with toilet paper. Interestingly enough. String theory. Popping in and out of the vacuum. Portals, hyperdimensional gates, zero point. I wrote all the, the language older than words. I wrote all these things on the bottom. I wrote. These days, my practice is slurring the narrative and the and the process. I'm inventing techniques in drawing. This technique is. I have to puncture through multiple layers of canvas. Uh, this is upholstery thread, it's pretty tough stuff, doubled up. But you puncture a hole and you jam it through and um, the uh, you, you dip your nail in a little bit of acrylic paint, which I drew with through the dimensional surface of the thing and I drew the thread back and forth. I don't have to convince you it's a bloody drawing. Uh, so, interestingly enough, I, I, I got sick of my own words, you know, as you can imagine. Always texting the missus. Um, but, and I, I, ble I bled out the, the words, and they became like sort of prison tattoos of sort of metaphysical higher thought, you know, rise above thinking, not below. Kind of a Eckhart toll kind of thing. But, um... That some of the text that remained I thought was very telling. Integrity. You know, the hero's journey in the bloody process, psychologically and physically. 
staying the course. Lossless information. This is the threshold with nano, nanotechnology, with gold and circuitry. And the other one that came through still was totality. Lossless information, totality, consciousness, the void, being, non-being. I think, I think we all get what we want from an artwork, especially very obtuse, um, abstract ones. But nonetheless, the qualities imbued in the mathematics, uh, which Len Lai would have very much appreciated uh, in the Great Pyramid of Giza, um, is kind of like um, information about uh, the structure of matter. Tesla said, if you want to understand uh, the nature of the universe, think in terms of frequency, vibration, and energy. So there's, 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 you know, the, these, the, these are, you know, this crossover between the the ancient sacred and the current science of the hedron collider, the god particle, um, you know, um, quantum biology. These are my concerns. Um, I've used rudimentary materials, and um, I really enjoy doing so because I think the human meat suit is. Uh, Pretty amazing uh, word. Yeah. yeah, I like this guy up here. Elemental, Pharaoh. I'm gonna um, go now. Thank you for your time.